They say traitor. We say divisive, unpopular, controversial, defiant. They report what she did. We're on to why she did it. They get caught up in the story. We see the big picture. When they rush to conclusions, we rush to the scene. It's black and white, they say. It's never black and white. BBC News. Find out what's actually happening. Hello there. Much of central, southern and western United States is very hot at the moment and humid too. Across the south, with some cooler air moving south out of uh, central Canada, we've seen some supercell thunderstorms develop across the Midwest and also on the Canadian border. Now these storms are continuing to break out through Wednesday. Again, it could be quite violent across the Midwest, transferring into New England and Northeast later in the week. It's very hot across the desert southwest. There's temperatures well over 40 Celsius in places. For South America, the usual mix of showers and sunny spells in the north. Very dry across central and southern areas. Bolivia, in fact, parts of Bolivia, seeing some wildfires with the timber dry conditions here. For Europe, a weather front brought, bringing the heavy showers and thunderstorms through central areas, tending to ease down as pressure begins to build. We'll start to see increasing amounts of sunshine and rising temperatures across much of the continent, particularly in the west, as we end the week. For Africa, the usual showers and storms through central areas, some of them pretty intense, mainly dry to the north and dry to the south. Quite warm there for Cape Town. Very hot indeed across parts of the Middle East, particularly around Iraq, uh, into northwest Iran and Kuwait, thanks to an interior wind close to 50 degrees Celsius towards the end of the week, but a lot cooler and fresher for coastal Oman. Across South Asia, the heavy rain for Thursday and Friday looks like it'll be focused into the northeast corner, thanks to another monsoon low. Some heavy rain in the south, mainly dry though, to the northwest and into Pakistan. Got another feature, this tropical low bringing enhancements of rainfall to the Philippines and to Taiwan towards the end of the week. Further wet weather for Japan, but to eastern China stays hot, dry and sunny, 34 to 35 degrees for Shanghai. Finally for Australasia, where we've got high pressure for Australia, mainly dry here, a weather from bringing some rain to the Perth area, but for the southeast of Australia into Tasmania and New Zealand, it remains a very windy indeed, severe gales, further heavy rain over the next few days. Now showing on BBC Real. Watch more stories like this at bbc.com slash real. with a summary of the BBC World News. The Vatican has said it acknowledges the decision to uphold Cardinal George Pell's conviction of sexual abuse. Pell was found guilty of abusing two boys while Archbishop of Melbourne in the late 1990s, and he is the highest-ranking Catholic cleric 